Have you ever had that tingle in your stomach? As people may describe it as butterflies. Well, as much as you may think this is just some old expression, it is quite the opposite. Every infant is born with a tiny, tiny little egg in their belly. It goes undetected by x-rays or anything of that sort. You can't find it, and you can't get rid of it so you might as well not worry about it at all. Perhaps it will never happen to you. Perhaps you will never know anyone whom it has happened to. Maybe you'll never hear about it at all. Well, I'll go ahead and fill you in on this little creature. You'll be born with it, like I said, and it will go undetected by any kind of device, as also said. But every time you feel a feeling of extreme happiness or nervousness and perhaps even immense fear it will grow it will grow slowly but surely over time just like a little tumor except soon it won't be a tumor or anything like it first you'll begin to lose your appetite over time your stomach's maximum capacity will become lower and lower. Maybe you'll lose a little weight. At the time, this may make you happy. Happy that you seem to become a little healthier. But this little confiscation of appetite is nothing to be excited about. In fact, if this happens, try not to get excited over anything, as this will only worsen your condition. Like I said, Excitement only feeds it. Then, over some more time, not only will your appetite have gone down, but the nutrients of all that you eat don't go all to you. At this point, you may get a bit underweight, perhaps a bit pale, maybe get some more common sicknesses such as the cold or the flu. Most of the nutrients that you devour will only go to the beast in your belly enlarging it, feeding it. Next, you will develop severe stomach pains. These won't be your average erosions or stomach tumor, of course. And your doctor can do nothing about it. He will prescribe you stomach medication. This may dull the pain for now. Eventually, these meds won't work anymore. In fact, they will only make your problem worse and worse. This is a sign you are nearing your doom. There is little time left before it is ready. Finally, you cannot bear this pain anymore. No pain medication will work, and you spend all your time sleeping. Eventually, you will stay asleep for long periods at a time, from the average 9 hours of sleep a day to 12, then to 14, then to 16. But the worst part is yet to come. One day, you will be in your bed, pale and sickly, racked of nutrients and your ribs showing, clutching your stomach, howling in pain. You will then feel a small burst in your belly and a tickle going up your esophagus. You may run to the bathroom and look in the mirror. Open your mouth and you will see two thin, stick-like objects tickling the top of your mouth. This is the time you may want to shut your eyes. Perhaps try to kill yourself before it begins, because there is nothing to do now, nothing to stop what is to come. You will feel your stomach painfully, slowly expanding, being stabbed by its clawed legs. Then. Your stomach will burst, and you will feel the burning sensation of stomach acid bleaching your insides. It will squirm inside you, turning your organs to mash. You will hear loud cracking and breaking pains in your chest as it pops open your ribcage like a couple of toothpicks. 
Somewhere in the struggle, your lungs will be punctured, and your heart will have gashes in it. Now it is ready. Its wings will spread open, cracking, popping, and shattering the remains of your ribs and spine. Its legs will force themselves through your flesh, twisting and tearing, tenderizing your organs and busting holes through your muscles and skin. Your belly's skin will stretch, rip, and shred. Now its mandibles are chewing through the remaining flesh of your torso, and its antennae are waving crazily throughout your esophagus. All over the floor is red and orange, and chunks and shreds of what was once your digestive system are splattered all over the walls around you. If you have not already died, or have not killed yourself by now, you are letting out half screams as your lungs are torn open at all angles. It is all done. As you lay there, seconds from death, with most of your body's content now in small pieces and small fillets, barely any blood left in your veins, you will see it rise from the great cavity it has tore, boring out of you. It will stand there, twitching and staring into your eyes with its beady, golf ball sized eyes. It will then begin to feast on the mess of a body it has left you as. It will devour your skin and what's left of your organs. It will lap and suck up all the blood spilled and drink from your severed heart from its straw-like appendage on its face. It will continue to feed on you and pick at your corpse until it can eat no more. And you want to know the worst part of it all? Sometimes, it will decide not to go forward through your stomach. And will decide to go up.